What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now over the past couple of days we have heard and seen a lot of new things come to Destiny with the April update, the 2.2.0 update which will arrive on April 12th. With it comes many new things and reworked old things too. Now I have covered some info which you guys can check out on my channel if you wanna, either by clicking on my channel name or using the links I have put in the video description. Now one of the main new features coming with this update is the increased light score level of 335. Now there has been a lot of discussions going around about this new 335 light score and exactly what options we have to reach that max level. Going by past content normally Bungie introduced a new activity which will drop gear at this level. Normally it's the raid or that DLC's main activity which does indeed and only does drop that end game loot. It's a thing they've done in the past and it's something a lot of fans including myself do not really support. Support. Basically Bungie dropping new content and only that content being the place where you can get that end game gear. Normally forgetting to upgrade old activities which we loved with that newer higher level gear. Well I can gladly tell you guys that things have changed. With the DLC update on April 12th which is free to all Taken King owners the main new activity is a reworked Prison of Elders. Normally what Bungie would have done here is make this the only place where you can obtain that end game loot. Well now it isn't. There are numerous places you can receive that gear up to that 335 and light score level. The King's 4 hard mode raid will be a place for you to obtain 335 gear. The King's 4 normal raid will drop up to 320 light score gear. This for me is epic. It shows they are learning that when new content is released that they should rework all the activities. It's something they should have done in the past and I'm glad to see they're finally doing it. Another place you'll be able to obtain 335 gear is Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner, which is another plus. They also said Strike Uniques will drop up to 335. Whether they mean all Strike exclusives like the Grasp of Malak from the Omnigal Strike or just a new gear from that new Winter's Run Strike, that being a sword and a shotgun, at this time we ain't sure. The Core of Oryx Artifacts will drop up to a 335 light score and obviously the new Challenge of Elders will also drop up to 335 loot. Another thing they mentioned as well is Exotic Engrams will also drop gear up to a 335 light score level. So the places you can obtain 335 light gear is pretty damn epic. But to be honest it's really needed because of the way the new infusing system works. We need as many 335s as we can possibly get to infuse all our favourite loot. If you are unsure about how this works, the new way of infusing works like this. Basically you have a 335 duplicate helmet, but your favourite helmet and the one you want to wear is only a 315. Infusing that 335 into that 315 helmet takes it straight to a 335. No fucking around. No more tiny steps of leveling up a piece of gear one light level at a time. It's now one for one. Whatever that piece of gear's light level is will override the lower level gear you infuse it into. And it's as simple as that. So guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, if you could drop a like, I would appreciate the support. I've got a few more videos to come covering all the info we have learned over the past couple of days, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong.